What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing good. So, so it has been a while as I come to you guys with a video. Um, it's, <laughs> it's I, I want to do a decent pickups video, like quite a few games. Um, and like you know, this I've had ideas of things to talk about, but it's a bit Aussie had a follow through with them. Um. As you like I said, I'm back with Peanuts video. Got quite a few games. Um, quite a few games I've got in the collection, which is underneath you guys. Eventually, will move, be moved over there. Um, some games I did. I'm not going to show in this video. So I don't remember if I showed them. So I'm not going to show them. I'm not going to waste time because it's still a healthy stack, even without them games. Um, I do think this my collection is underneath you guys. I can sort of try to put them back. Apart from PSP and PS3, a little bit low. <laughs> so first thing I'm going to show you is the Xbox One, which is about here. Is Dead Rising 4. I've had this game multiple fucking times. Um, not I, I played the first one briefly when a mate of mine, the Xbox One sort of came out originally came out. Um, And yeah, I really enjoyed it. I really, I, sort of, I enjoyed it if. Sorry, I remember there's a game I haven't seen. Um, yes, it's really good if you are jumping in, say 100 hours in, and the person's profile user has pretty much every gadget and accessory and clothing. Uh, but if you're getting to that point, it's. It's fun, but not as fun. Personally. Um. But it's still, for, for the price I pay, I can't complain. Um, so yeah. And the next thing I'm going to show you, which I pulled out the collection, I'm going to show it, it's called Ars Land, The Warriors of Legends. Um, never heard of it. For the screenshots on the back, it looks very sort of um, Dynasty Warrior esque in the way of fight. Put that back. Um, so, um, I think I, have I installed it yet? I don't think really I have installed it yet. Probably at some point. But, it's, again, it's for the collection and it's a game I want to try at some point. Um, because it's for, Tyson was, Tyson was, they are, but aren't my sort of games, if you know what I mean. They aren't because it's just going hack and slash and things like that, but they're not my sort of games because I don't understand the story. So, <laughs> yeah. The next thing I'm going to show you is another Xbox One game. It's a game I make my sort of system, I'm always going to that. And that is Road Trooper Redux. And I think the reason he says, oh, I'm supposed to be able that, is because it's made by Rebellion and brought up by Sold Out. And Rebellion, Rebellion is one of my favourite companies because they made Snarf Relic series and things like that and I fucking love them series and Sold Out and I'm a mate, I know someone who works for Sold Out. And Sold Out, if you've not heard of Sold Out, it's... Yes. So, um, I don't actually know nothing... I know it's, it's, it was an old game. An old game. But I, don't, I personally have no fact about it. But it's a game I, I do want to sit out and play at some point. Uh, another game that I've had in my collection multiple times. And that's what it does. Um, I want the second one. Play the second one. Uh, at your game. Uh, really enjoyed this. It's. But it's in a world of fools out. It's so hard to. Sort of, if you're racing games, hard to get my attention. Away from Forza, to be honest. But it's a, it's a fun game, isn't it? I think there's a lot of shit. I think it's like a ton of free deal, so if I remember correctly. I think it is. Don't quote me on that, but I think there is. Like a lot of cars and like that. Well, for the Xbox One games. Uh, and there's Retour, a game that I've. Fucking been wanting to play since basically they announced it. 
I was like, oh, do you allow, do you allow? And never got it. Um, I sort of like, I booted it up. And it, visually, it's fantastic, personally. Um, I think the only thing to fuse me, it's, <laughs> it's like, you know, oh, it's, it's the basic retour. And so like, it's... But when I looked it up, it came up with the definitive edition on the, on the console. I'm like, is it meant to be like that? I'm, I'm confused. So if you own the definitive edition, is that the definitive edition disc? Because if it is, then sweet. And and if you if that is, if that is a definitive, definitive edition disc. What do you get on disc compared to normal? If so, if so, if that is the if that is the definitive if that is the definitive edition disc, and you get stuff on the definitive edition disc, I baited mode of game. Basically, okay. Next, I'm going to go to three sixty. Um, I've got a feeling one of these games, one or two of these games I might have shown. Not sure. Uh, I've said it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, so let's go with it. The first game I picked up is the limited collector's edition of Perfect Dark. Perfect Dark Zero. And in this video, you, you, know, you do it quite a bit, isn't it? Or you get your manual. Uh, a comic which you won't know the comic so you can leave it out and this if anyone can explain to me what this is for or used for can you let me know because I don't know what it's for and also it comes with Um, yeah, I don't know, I've never known what that card's for. Um, ooh, um, obviously, so I've ever seen if you bought it new or you ordered it from Amazon to the, to the description. Um, and they say, oh, this is it's for this. Well, if you buy a second hand, you know, you, what, you might not know. So, um, next time, one of the a sec. I was a of games. I hate this. Is. Yeah, so one of the one I think I've shown the last one, not sure, is time shifts. Now, I've, I've played it a while ago when it was, it was 360 was, it was current gen. And personally, I think this is a very, very underrated game. Um, when you see people like Metal Jesus and that do like under, un, uh, hidden gems, underrated videos, or under, underrated games on the Xbox 360, never see them, I've never seen them point out this game. Visually, it's not the great best, but it's so fucking underrated. It's unreal. It, uh, it's it's a sure. Oh, I, you can slow down time and things like that. It's, it's, I don't really want to sort of spoil it too much. It's been a while since I've played it myself. It, it's been up to enough. So if you're doing 360, and, or if you're not on Xbox One, it's battery compatible. Let's fucking play it. Um, I'll do that one. Another game I think I've shown one short, and that was Falls of Horizon, the Limited Collectors Edition. This has. Has the I'm going to show the code just in case all that, but we're not we're not covering it. So I don't know if it works or not. I don't want to lose it. The case there, it's a bit, but it's I won't pull that pull the day up too much because I draw I draw digitally on the Xbox One, um, and even if it was playing on the 360, it's it was, it was spent quite a lot of time in the tonto itself. Oh, uh, so it's it won't be too bad. Next game I'll show you is 
going I'm just going towards my sort of com there's two series what well, this one I'll show you and the next three games after I'll show you <laughs> I'm basically trying to go for at least one of every version I might not do the Wii ones so then I'll, then I'll be obligated to buy fucking Wii games and I don't know what um, no offence to Retro Bear, if you're watching. I know it was a Retro Bear, but it was way. Um, but it's... I got the DS version of it, of this series. PS2, PS3, and this one. I think, I'm, I think there might be a couple of things we're in that I'm missing, but I am way. And that is Brothers in Arms, Hell's Highway. And one of the OG Xboxes. No, I need the other one. I don't need Earned in Blood on three six on the original Xbox. But Brothers Arms Hell's Highways, the system I would you played this one on. Fuck it, I I love this game. I don't it's I don't think <coughs> I don't think personally I don't think um I don't think Brothers and Arms gets enough love and praise that it should have because I think at the time that came out you had things like Medal of Honor coming out I think Call of Duty at the same sort of time so it got lost in the shuffle um but it's such an underrated fucking game um more people need to, I'm sorry they remastered it I'll be happy I want a remaster to be honest um <coughs> so and um what PSP version at all so I'm just sort of slip my mind. Um, yeah, I'm going to read master. So next three games, next three games I'm going to show you are again in that sort of bubble. Want to try and get one of every copy of it. So much so I might actually. I don't. I need the game two version. I need the game two version. Oh, I'm sad. I remember you shot on camera here, so I'm not good. I need it. I need it. Middle. I need it, the game two version of these and Brothers in Arms. As I might get the PC versions of these, the shit's in the doors. And that is, I suppose, when it's Middle Run Airborne. A lot of people actually, when they talk about Middle Run, they actually forget about this one. Um, I, don't, I brought the PS3 version. Um, it's such an underrated game. For me, it's hard to believe this is an underrated fucking Middle Run game. Um, but it's worth, again, worth playing if you really love Middle Run, like I do. Um, this one is 2010. 2010. Middle of Honor. I don't I think they're the name of the tier one edition disc. Don't know why, but I'm not done. That's a blend in too much. And we middle of a warfighter. Which a lot of people fucking bitch moaned and complained about. Personally I fucking loved it. Um I don't about fucking glitches and shit like that. I'm like, I didn't see any. Assholes. Assholes. Uh, next question I'm going to tell you for is... Um, guess what? First one is... First Destiny. Um, picked up... Uh, picked up real cheap. I bought for I think I paid a pound for it in CX. I thought fuck it for the collection. And Disney too. I paid. I think I know it's. I think I got some game. I was doing a few. I think I was doing four for twenty at the same time. This I bought as a spare game as well. <laughs> it's a bit, a bit more expensive than CX, but I think about a pound, pound fifteen. Give or take. But I went for all ten points on my game guard. Um. So yeah. Uh, next thing I want to show you is I brought the please that's up the Vita version of this. Yep, I still the Vita version of this. Okay. But it's nothing the front cover is the same series, different game that is. Actually, bars beat the video version called Actually Bars Trip and Dead and Undressed. This one, I don't know where this sort of lies in the story, but 
I'll probably stick the actual same title. <coughs> kind of with a lot of the renames. Like. So I'm looking at some of the renames there. Um, but what. Why is. Why is the same game with a different title? Now, this Dire 3. Absence of Detention. Is it. This Dire 3 saying else from PS3? Well, they down good, but fuck it. But it's it, some games are different titles. <laughs> same games and title. Some of them are the same. <sighs> like Gal Gun Double Piece. This is the exact same title on both on PS3 and Vita. Um, the next thing I'll show you is Risen Free Titan Laws in Hearts Edition. Don't know fuck all about it. Um, I did it was cheap for the collection. Look quite good from the screenshots, but it's probably fucking not. Yeah. <laughs> um, this this game will show you a lot for for at the time free for twenty twenty game. <clears throat> I know it's what it season two. PS4. Uh, not done PS4. I've done the PS Vita version, but at some point I was it down to do this. Get that platinum trophy. I think they, I think the only ones that actually platinumed on PS4 are Hells of Borderlands. That's it. I've done platinum Minecraft on PS3. Um, not hundred percent of it because I've done another episode five. It's six, seven, eight. Um, platinum's hundred percent. I'm platinum and hundred percented. First season of Walking Dead. Vita, I've done the 400 days and all, um, and season two, and I've done uh, Wolf Among Us, which I really fucking enjoyed, to be honest. So, yeah, the next thing I'll show you is Dragon Quest Heroes, the World Street Warrior and Bl Blight Blow. I don't believe it or not. Unlike most people, I don't know fuck all about Dragon Quest Heroes. No offense to Dragon Quest Heroes fans, but I don't know fuck all about Dragon Quest Heroes. So we'll look at that one now. Next thing I'll show you is I did another demo of Adam Collection multiple times, and that's Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Fucking loved the first one. I personally, if you own a 360, well, I think it's backwards compatible, if it is an Xbox One and all. You should play the first one. This is a fun. The first one's fantastic, and uh, I think if I probably sit down and play this one, so this one. <coughs> I think I don't. <coughs> I think. <coughs> I think so you sort of carries on from the set, the first one, from the directly. And if it. So if it does, I think we'll find out first if it does play the first one first. So you get more of a story. Two more games, both. Collector's editions. This one is Final Fantasy. I don't know where I'm in yours. Final Fantasy, the special edition. Um, I did I picked up to this. A special edition. And I thought it was, for what it was, it was very cheap. I think I had a tenner. Um, I think. Yeah, tenner. Um... Two, I've, I've got, I've got of, I've got that Final Fantasy, I've got two in the V, I've got Final Fantasy X X2, which I think is, I think 10, 10 2, and then the 10 2 is remastered, and World of Final Fantasy in the Vita. So yeah. So clearly I'm the biggest fan, you know. But, uh, I always struggle doing the Final Fantasy, I don't know why. Oh, uh, no, fucking hell. I know most people have played it, have been playing it for years, so not this you have to get into it for a while. And I don't know. Last PS4 game uh, is Injustice 2. Uh, I've played the first one, I owned the first one on Vita, which I fucking loved. I love actually. I thought, I'll see I'd rather get this. Um, especially, I like special, I actually quite like the special edition case. Um, but yeah, 
I played, I played, I played it through it was like, and visually I thought it was quite, it was quite the plane. Um, beautiful game to be fair. Um, plays, plays were really nice actually, really smooth. Um, so if you haven't played this one, it's worth playing, I re recommend it. Especially if you, the, if you enjoyed the first one. Um, so, yeah, next two games I'm going to show you are, one's PS3, one's PS3, so I'm blast these quite quick. Uh, the PSP is Call of Duty Road to Victory. I'd rate it as it is. I have Middle of Honor and Brothers in Arms. So I thought, fuck it, it is. Um, no, I've played, I've played, I've played, the only sort of portable Call of Duty I've played is Black Ops the Classified on Vita. And it's it's a good game if you weren't Call of Duty. But because it's Call of Duty, it's, Duty, it's shite. To be honest, and the last game is that game I fucking loved. Completed it like twice on PS3 and Xbox 360, and that is Hitman Absolution. Um, I, f I literally I pr I probably pr complete it again. To be fair, I fucking love this game. Obviously, the uh, an art book, and like the making of, and DLCs probably been used, but. This I picked up quite like cheap. Um, so yeah, they're all the games I picked up recently. Uh, sorry, I was sort of rambled on the last five ten minutes. Um, hopefully, you like this angle a bit better. I might stick to this, might not. Um, I might sort of adjust every now and then. Um, but I would like to know what you guys picked up recently. Um, whether you leave it a comment or leave me a link to your YouTube video, I would love to watch. Um, and I hope it was you. So I'm recording this on the Saturday. This should be uploaded the same day. I hope you're doing some good game chasing over the weekend. And fingers crossed, we have some new chip. Thank you for watching.